Here we are uh, doing the 2011 calc test, uh, question number 8. Number 8 says, you have this function, negative 3 quarters x squared plus x plus 4, and you're supposed to first find the derivative. So let's, and I know it's a parabola, so if I take my derivative, I have f of x equals negative 3 quarters x squared plus x plus 4, and a part says find the derivative. If I do that, I get, I pull down the 2 times negative 3 quarters x plus 1, which simplifies to negative 3 halves x plus 1. There's my derivative. B part then says, find the equation of the normal at negative 2, no, positive 2, 3. Well, in order to find the normal curve, and let's look at what's going on here. This here is the normal curve. We're looking, here's 2, 3. I'm looking for the normal. Well, the normal and the tangent are related. So, in order to find, let's say, the slope, slope of the tangent at 2, let's go negative 3 over 2 times 2 plus 1 which will be negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. That's the slope of the tangent. So therefore, the slope of the normal is equal to 1 half. Now if I'm going to find the equation of the normal, I like to use this form of the equation, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Um, this is the same as y equals mx plus b, but this one I think works out much nicer. I know a point, 2, 3, so y minus 3 equals my slope, 1 half, x minus 2. To get rid of my fraction, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2, this by 2, and this by 2. And so then I get 2y minus 6 equals x minus 2. Bring the x over, I get negative x, plus 2y is equal to, bring the 6 over, add 6 is equal to 4. This is my normal equation. Okay, and now, the c part then says, this normal intersects the curve at another point, p. And it wants to find the value, the x value for p. So this here is p. And we want to find this x value here. And so here's 2, 3. And this here is p I need to find. So I want to find where they intersect. Well, if I want to find where two things intersect, I set them equal to each other. So negative 3 quarters x squared plus 4, or plus x plus 4, equals, well, I need to have it set equal to y. Now, if I take this equation here, and let's rearrange it, or it's probably actually easier from here, let's bring the 6 over. So 2y equals x plus 4, and so y equals 1 half x plus 2. Here is also my normal equation. I set this side equal to that, x plus 2. Bring everything one side of the equation, negative 3 quarters x squared. Mm, subtract a half, so I get negative half x. Subtract 2, and I get plus 2 equals 0. Now, I could try and factor this, or I could graph it on my calculator. Um, I don't have my calculator handy, so let's go to Wolfram Alpha, and let's ask Wolfram Alpha to do it for us. We want to simply solve negative 0.75x to the power 2 minus 0.5x plus 2 equals 0. Hit enter, 
That's what we're trying to solve. Our calculator will do this, or it will factor. Let's see what we get. We get negative 2 and 4 thirds. Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? Negative 2. Oh, this is supposed to be a positive 1 half. I subtract 1 half over. That should work. Let's go back and fix that. So, uh, here we go. Let's change this to a positive 1 half. 2 plus. Hopefully that will do the trick. Yes, it does. So I know one of my answers was 2. One of my answers was 2, which I already knew from the point 2, 3, and the other was negative 4 thirds. So I know that x equals 2, and x equals negative 4 thirds. This is the x value of p. So I look right here, and this value here is negative 4 thirds.